Hey guys, so I'm out here again, or out here for the first time, if this video is before the second one I filmed. Um, my feet are freezing. But, so, from the title of this video, you guys know that I'm going to be doing a things I didn't ex- <sighs> Hold on. What is this video called? Things I didn't expect while transitioning. I've been requested this so many times. I did kind of a little series, which I probably should bring back, which is like things I wish I was known. But yeah. So the first thing I did not expect, just getting right into it, is the ignorance. And let me elaborate on that. I don't know if I've said this before. I hope I didn't, but I want to explain the ignorance. And what I mean by that, oh, oh, hold on, scratch that, the ignorance, and not only that, the passion, the hateful passion some people have, a lot of people have, for the trans community in general. I don't know if this had always been this way, I'm assuming it did, but because I wasn't going through it, I didn't pay that much attention to it, but what I mean by the passion, the passionate hate is, for instance, when I identified as a gay guy wearing makeup I used to get comments like ew or faggot or something like that those comments turn into people who will spend hours like writing books about how fucking disgusting trans people are how fucking unnatural so those like little faggots or ew or yuck turn into people who are so passionate about telling you how disgusting they think you are or how unnatural it is or how wrong it is or even people who will be like even being like being gay is like I support lesbians bi and gay people those are okay but being trans is so unnatural and fucking gross it's like a whole huge thing that it that I never in a million years because the thing is it's not like this is like a few people because while I do think the gay and lesbian the gay and bi and lesbian community sorry I was just thinking for a sec while I do think they have ways to go it is widely more accepted than being trans and I didn't fully realize that I just assumed we all were fighting like the same battle and blah 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 but also on top of that, I didn't expect gay and lesbian people to also be just as hateful. I just assumed that like the trans com or the LGBT community was like one and we all were supportive. No bitch. It's like the fact that people are so passionate about telling you how much they hate you. I don't know. It's something I didn't really experience before even though I had been on YouTube before I was transitioning and I still got hate comments but nothing to this ex like to the extent I get it now. The second thing I didn't like I didn't expect while transitioning is I thought hormones would be more magical than they ended up being. I don't know if that sounds weird or not, but I'm sure I'm sure some people are agreeing with me right now. When I used to think hormones were like the cure to everything. They would make me happy. They would make me complete. They would, you know, I used to be like, oh, like people used to be like, like hormones do do a lot. No, being honest, hormones do a little bit. They don't do a lot. I feel like the only time they really do a lot is if you haven't gone through puberty yet. Like if you are haven't started like male puberty if you are a male to female trans woman or vice versa then that's when hormones are like fucking magic but if you've already gone through puberty those are irreversible effects and hormones will not do as much as they would if you didn't go through puberty and so i had all these high hopes i felt like people on youtube and the internet were talking like oh it's so magical i remember reading somewhere like oh my god i went from an a cup to a d cup in like six months like booze and i was just like girl like i like they're gonna change everything i thought that like once i was on them people would start respecting me more and shit like that no girl 
But yeah, they help. They definitely help, but they are not magic pills that make everything better. And I honestly was not expecting that because for me, all they really did was make me fat. And well, I did go through like a depression, which is like something I don't even really like to talk about. And that obviously helped the weight gain, but even before that, when I was on hormones, they started giving me like a belly because my belly used to be flat as fuck. I used to have like low key little abs, but now it's just like a pregnant ass belly. Like I literally look like I'm six months pregnant, about to have like a preemie baby and it sucks. So I feel like I just offended like so many people that comment, but whatever. I'm so sick of people getting offended over everything. Oh. Another thing I wanted to mention before I end this, the last thing for now that I can think of that I didn't expect while transitioning is I didn't expect to second guess myself as much as I do. And let me elaborate on that too. People have so much hate towards trans people, obviously, like I've been saying this entire time. So they will try and drag you down. They will try and say you look ugly. They will say you look manly for male to females in this case. It's always going to be for male to females because that's all I have experience with. I literally should have my brother make videos too. Because so many people are so rude and hateful to you, you start to second guess yourself. And I was watching a video actually on YouTube from one of my friends, Nikki, uh, and she was saying like how she has been second guessing herself a lot recently. And I definitely could relate. I feel like you could be so confident one minute and then get a bunch of people saying, ew, you look so manly and gross. Like, what are you doing? And then you're like, because you're finding yourself, it's so easy to just like be manipulated, I guess you could say, by like what others think, but that's not funny. Let me know if you guys want to have like a part two or three to this video because I feel like I have so much more to say. I just cannot think right now. And yeah, leave video requests down below as always. I love you so much and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.